If you're wondering why I am wearing mask at home, where China is considered one of the best at controlling COVID thing, but uh, here's the chart I uh, remember. I'm in Jiangsu province. The COVID case in China at 2020 is almost zero, but at the end of this July, the mutation of the COVID outbreak in Nanjing has already resulted almost 260 new cases. It is not necessary to wear mask at home, but uh, since I'm making videos here on internet, I think it is necessary to bring this up. So just keep safe. As promised last time, today I'm going to share you my experience about how to copy yourself in video. Ready? Go. And uh, actually, before we talk about how to make it, there's one thing we need to do. Yep, 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 yep. This is a new place we moved in. It's nice to have a garden here. So about the sound, I think it's kind of construction. And uh, we are still tidying the app that is house for the cat. I mean, we, I mean, my mom and sister, for me, I'm kind of the technical guy. I only charge of the Wi Fi thing. Yeah. So let's fire up the jump. So raise it above your head, just in case, if you are doing hand launch. <laughs> Okay, safely landed. Another thing I mentioned were uh, to avoid the COVID thing be spread again, our government has decided to like uh, lock down the gym, the swimming pool thing, so I cannot go to gym now, so today we'll do it at home. No excuse, right? So let's say if you cannot go to the gym and you don't have the proper equipment at home, but you can still do exercise. Let's go. Hey Siri, set an alarm of 46 minutes. Yeah, I use Siri to set the alarm. Your alarm is set for 17. So, let's go. Yeah, never average night. Two, four hours. Let's see. Yeah. It's more difficult than I thought. See you later. Okay, let's talk about the copy yourself thing. Actually, it's a user tool called the uh, mask. And uh, it's actually quite simple. The logic is you have a background, right? You have subject A, B, C, D, whatever. You just need to put your subject into the same background and uh, make sure they kind of not overlap or will be okay. I mean, yeah, you can make them overlap, but that will be a little complicated. We'll talk about that later. So with no further ado, let's jump into Final Cut Pro and see how I achieve that clip. Okay, here's a clip of me keep going past the camera with the front close. So I won't talk too much about software because we all use different software. The only thing matters is that we know the background and we know the process so we can handle it at a different uh, software. So what we need is uh, background. So here's background is static and uh, the subject is walking through the door from left to right. So the left area is kind of doesn't matter. So here what we need to do is just uh, make a mask to mask out the door and uh, make a keyframing as the subject is moving from left to right. We can keyframe uh, masking to follow the subject. So first let's cut out the frame I made and I strongly recommend you can learn some shortcut to fasten your process. So here we are just uh, fast forward. And here I didn't shoot the background, but luckily my background just need a static shot. So I can just freeze framing, so you can see there's no problem at all. And here to make it easier to see, you can change the opacity. I mean, although I have used mark, but with the opacity, you can double check. As long as the subject is not overlapping, that will be okay. Basically that's it. So the third clip, the same. And then let's go to the masking and keyframing. I prefer your jaw mask. So pardon me for my sloppy masking skill. So let me just uh, disable this clip, which I'm not using. So here I have added a mask, right? And so as you can see, as the subject go out of the framing, it will disappear. So what we need to do is before it's disappear, just uh, 
and keyframing. Keyframing is like uh, tracking the subject. So we can move a little bit and then adjust uh, the draw mask. And you don't have make the mask frame by frame. You can actually skip a few frames and then make the mask. And then go frame by frame to check if there is a problem. And you can add it to that frame separately. And then bring back the opacity to add to the next clip. So let me just hide the mask line so you can see easier. As you can see here, actually it's quite sloppy masking. Here you can see it has different color. It's because I wear different clothes and I forgot to fix the camera's exposure, so it will change the exposure without uh, this problem. So if you have this kind of problem and it's difficult to reshoot, well actually you can go here, the color correcting, because it's just the light, the brightness, right? Okay, you need to select the correct clip and then make the just on the light you can use whatever tool you have so see it can be kind of fixed you just need to play with the setting and here you also have the feathering of the jaw mask you can try to cover that problem but of course the best way is use fixed exposure make sure the light is controlled but if you have to deal with the light changing situation there is two things you can do the first one is very complicated and you will have to make the almost perfect masking and make it frame by frame like this one is not perfect but you can do the overlap thing or if you know how to make the green screen or keyring that will be much easier so basically that's it. If you want to copy yourself or anything in the video, you just need to pay attention to the background to find out the subject, which part is moving and make sure there is no overlapping because if there is overlapping, you will do lot masking or you will need to use green screen keyring to try to copy your subject in the frame. And if you are having light problem, you can try to adjust the brightness and use the feathering of the mask, try to solve that. If that doesn't help, then you can use the precise mask to mask out the subject and do it frame by frame, which is really time consuming. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this kind of tutorial. If you like this kind of sloppy tutorial or if you want to know more about the details, leave a comment below and see you next time.